Hello everybody. Um, this short little video is um, to show you how I'm uh, going to attempt to repair my heads up um, dash display here on little blue 2. I just purchased this vehicle and um, the uh, turn signal indicator is um, completely broken but um, I mean, it, it still works and stuff, but you can see the mount for it is all pretty much gone. Um, there were, like, pieces of um, broken plastic that I have um, removed. Um, what I'm going to attempt to do is um, brace this, this part up so it'll stay up. And this other part back here. I um, basically used some leftover pieces of plastic that I had for one of those indoor blinds um, to hold it up. And I'm going to try to glue it all together with this um, Goop Outdoor Adhesive. It said it, it's um, clear, waterproof, uh, flexible, and supposedly stronger than glue. So um, we'll be putting it on there, and hopefully it'll hold once it dries. Um, and then, you know, I don't have to worry about the, um, the signal indicator falling down on me. So this is kind of an experiment, and we'll see how it works or doesn't. I hope it works. I'm trying to get it right into everything and all the cracks. And also I want this thing to hold too. Because this is hopefully going to hold everything together. Okay, it's rather messy here, but... The hope is that we're making a good bond and it'll hold. So we want it to hold. So it's like not the prettiest thing, but if it works and we're in business. I'm gonna run it all through here. All up underneath. The reason I'm using something like this instead of um soup glue is because you can see it it's kind of thick and I'm hoping that it basically kind of squeeze into all the little cracks and crevices and and um, help to hold everything together okay More up here. Some up here. I guess I guess we're kind of building a piece out here. Hope it works. So it's not the prettiest thing, but let's double check this side. It's running all over, so I'm gonna add a little bit more here. I guess gravity will pull it down. Plan is to almost semi-weld it with this gooey goop. It looks like it's um, setting and, um, you know, gravity is pulling it down, so I may have to do another coating. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and let it dry and then make a second pass, um, second layer, because I want it kind of fused on. Let's try again. Alright. Yep, yep, yep. Really goopy stuff. Alright, we'll 
we'll see how it does. Hey, wish me luck. Hopefully, um, hopefully this repair will take. Like I said, when when this layer dries here, I'm I'm gonna try um putting a second layer on. Okay, while we're waiting for the goop to set on my um, dash overhead display, I thought I'd go ahead and um, show you how I put curtains up in the van. Um, what we're looking at is actually the interior of um, Little Blue One. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is removing all these um, window hangings and, and dividers here, like this is the one for the front of the vehicle, and putting it into Little Blue Two. But as you can see, I basically just used um, the metal um, window, I, I guess it's um curtain frame thingy that they sell at Home Depot or Walmart. Um, I think they only run like one or two dollars. So it, it, it comes and it looks like an L shape and you can adjust the width. What I did was I hammered the end, which was, you know, curved up like a U. I hammered it down and flattened it. Then I simply um, adjusted, like here, the um, the width to fit whatever part I was going to install it on, and screwed it on. It looks pretty ugly, but you know when you have the curtain hang on it, it works just fine. And the curtain I got was just from Walmart. Um, I got black, and I faced the black out to try to black out the van. Um, I guess if you were going for a homey look, you could get uh, curtains with good design, you know, something that you like with colors, and then have it facing in. But as you can see in, in my van, the curtains are all facing out. And I have curtains on the, um, the front separator area, as well as the, uh, the side doors, and um, all along so I can completely seal the car off. So uh, we're going to go ahead and remove this unit here and then mount it in the, the new van, pretty much in the same location. So I've got my trusty uh, cordless power drill here. Hopefully it'll work to remove it. Okay. And that's down. And and this one's down. Go ahead and pause the camera so I can go ahead and take this stuff down and move it to the other van. Okay, as you can see, I've mounted um, the other side, and I'm getting ready to mount this one. Oops. You can see that I can adjust, like, I can adjust because this stuff slides right here. I can adjust it to a perfect fit. And I'm going to line it up right there, and then I'll be screwing it in. Um, can't hold it and film it, so I'll do that off camera. But basically, the metal can be bent um, to fit the shape of the vehicle. And you can always adjust the size so it's always a perfect fit. And we'll be doing that for this front um, divider section as well as each of the um, windows there. I'll, I'll need to remove the dresser unit to do the back. But um, this shouldn't take very long and isn't too expensive. Um, probably the most expensive part of it all is going to be the, um, the curtains. I uh, figured out how to set it so that I can film it. And um, let me see how it it all the way in there and now we have a front curtain which can you know which can be used to shut the vehicle completely if I want to I've um tied it with just shoe strings here to keep it in place but now if I want to um, have some privacy I can just close the curtains and um, open it up as needed this can also be bent um, to kind of go up a little bit. Matter of fact, it should probably sit like this. See how I'm kind of adjusting that so that it'll kind of sit and it curves up. 
you can you can kind of because this is just like cheapo aluminum you can bend it to kind of make it contour to, to the shape of your vehicle to kind of close off the gap there and you can see that um, we would be able to completely seal this car off and that's what I really like about this. Um, coming up with this this design actually took me a bit of time because originally I thought of running um, running a cable. Then I thought of using a metal beam or a piece of wood. And then I happened to see these these um, curtain hanging thingies um, at the store, and I was like, "Well, why not just use one of those and just bend it and flatten out the ends?" And um, tried it, and it works. And I mean, it's not the prettiest thing, but it works. So. Okay, um, I thought I'd go ahead and show this part, even though, you know, just removing it from the other vehicle and putting it in here is pretty straightforward. But this is where the dresser unit is. And you can see all I did was just remove the, the top dresser so I could have access to this. Um, as far as handling stuff like that, like the belt, I don't even bother. I just leave it like this. And um the you know, I want to put the curtain I want to put the curtain up here and then I'll put the um the dresser unit here and it'll kind of hold it in place. So that's how I handled that section. Okay. And here we are with the um drawers back in place and the curtain up. You see, I can adjust it as needed. Uh, this particular side here, you probably won't be able to use, so it'll be sealed off all the time. But it does tend to help keep the van cooler, because now you're blocking sunlight from directly coming in. And you can see I came all the way back up to here. The reason I didn't go all the way back further is I'm going to have another piece that, that goes across from here for the, um, the rear... Um, you, I guess the rear window here to block that off. All right, um, these um, lawn chair mattresses that I purchased to, to be used as um, the bench seat cushions as well as the bedding system come with these annoying um, tie downs. Um, I guess they'd be useful if you were actually using it on a, um, a chair, a lawn chair, you wanted to tie them down, um, but for our purposes, they're just kind of annoying. So I'm going to uh, clip these guys off, as well as um, these tags that say "Do not remove" um, under penalty of the United States or un under penalty of um, law. Tag not to be removed except by the consumer. Since I'm the consumer, I guess uh, it'll be okay to remove these. So we'll just clip these guys off and um, and the van should be nice and um, easy to, to use with um, these mattresses without having to constantly um, put them up or I, I guess it, if it doesn't bother you, it doesn't bother you, but me, I, I kind of like things to look a little bit neat. So these guys will be clipped off right here at the base. Um, obviously I, I can't cut and film, so I'll be doing that off camera. Okay, I found a way to make um, these these tie downs useful. Um, they're too short to function as tie downs, but if I tie two of them together, I can extend the length, which makes them um, just long enough to to serve as tie downs. So you can see I can I can tie down all the um, the curtains with it. And the reason I want to use this versus um, shoelaces or something is just because. Um, you know, it matches um, it matches the mattress here, so it'll make the um, the look of the place a little bit more uh, coordinated, and that's the plan. Um, right now, this is just a bare minimal setup, and and you know, I'm using um, old um, old curtains from the other one, but if you were building your own, you could color coordinate everything um, to exactly the colors you want, and make your your own build look quite nice.